Hello everyone, welcome to the first chapter of the Digital Electronics Design with Verilog HDL using Intel Quartus Prime course. In this chapter, you will be introduced to the Verilog HDL and the Quartus Prime software. We will have two parts. The introduction to the Verilog HDL, the Intel Quartus Prime for circuit modeling, and the model sim that will be used in the simulation. What is Verilog? Verilog is a hardware description language, or HDL, that is used to model the digital circuit or system. How Verilog is useful? Well, Verilog creates a level of abstraction that helps hide away the details of its implementation and technology. This means that the code can be implemented on any technology in digital design, such as in full custom or semi custom design or an FPGA. It relies on the design software to synthesize the described circuit into a specific target technology. This is a general structure of a Verilog program, where the described circuit is called a module. It consists of two main parts. The first part is the declarative part, and the second part is the module description part. The first line of the program is the module name, where it is defined by the programmers. In the bracket is the list of ports. The port is used to communicate with other modules. This is how the port looks like. These are the input ports. And this is an output port. This is how the output port of module 1 is connected to one of the inputs of module 2. The input and output declarations will specify which ports in the list are the input and output ports. Wire declaration will define the nets or internet connection of a module. Direct declaration specifies the variables that are used for behavioral descriptions in the always block. Here is the always block. We will see what is the always block in the module description shortly. Integer declaration, like a rect, it is used to hold an integer value in the always block. Last for the declaration part, the parameter declaration. It is used to define constants in a Verilog program. Now, let's look at the module description. The assigned continuous statement is a concurrent statement which means it executes in parallel with other continuous statement. Meanwhile, the sequential statement will execute in sequence, much like in computer programming. In sequential statement, we will have the initial block that will be used in simulation code, and the always block that will be used in the modeling the logic. The gate instantiation is used to instantiate the gates from the standard or the user libraries. And the module instantiation is used to instantiate the user module into the top level module. Finally, the end module marks the end of the module. Now we will look at the number representation in Verilog. In Verilog, there will be four types of logic values. The first one is logic 0, representing logic low or ground. Logic 1 represents logic high. Then we have Z, representing float or unconnected. Lastly, we have I, representing undefined. Next is the Verilog operators. Verilog uses the operators to do bitwise operation or to perform logical, arithmetic, testing, shift, or many more operations. Here in this table are some of the most commonly used Verilog operators. Now we will look at Verilog modeling styles. Verilog has three modeling styles. The first one is the data flow modeling. The second one is the behavioral modeling. And the third one is the structural modeling. Let's look at what is data flow modeling. In data flow modeling, the output signals are specified 
based on the Boolean equation. In the Verilog code, we will use the assigned keyword or the continuous assignment statement to model the logic based on the Boolean equation. In this example, the output f is equal to a and b or c. If you have a Boolean equation, f equal to not s, a, or s and b. Now let's see how we can code this in Verilog using data flow modeling. And this code will be synthesized into this circuit exactly based on the Boolean equation. In behavioral modeling, the code is used to describe or model the digital circuit based on the behavior of a design module in an algorithmic form. It uses the computer programming allied statements, for example, the if-else statement. The same circuit in the previous example using data flow modeling can be modeled using the behavioral modeling like this. Where f is declared as right as it is now a variable in the always block. The module is described based on its behavior. Where if s equal to 1, the output f is equal to b. Otherwise, if f equal to 0, the output f is equal to a. And this will create the same circuit as in the previous example. For the structural modeling, we will model the circuit based on its structure where we will instantiate the gate and describe its connections. Also, we can instantiate other modules and describe the connection to create a new module. In this example, we can describe the circuit like this. Where we need to describe the internal wires. This end gate can be described like this, where the end keyword is used to instantiate the end gate from the library and the connection are described in the bracket. The output of the gate must be listed first, followed by the input, where we have A and not S as the inputs. Same as the second end gate, we have J as an output, B and S are the inputs and also the OR gate. As for the module instantiation, we can use the design of a full adder using two half adder modules. This is the circuit for a half adder. We can view this as a module like this, and we can use this half adder module to create a full adder module like this. This is the Verilog code for the full adder module to model the above circuit by instantiating to half adder module. Now we need to have three internet nets declared as wire W1, W2, and W3. The module name HA is instantiated and it is named as M1. The same module HA is instantiated. And now it will become the second half adder in the top level module. This is now named as M2. The last one is an OR gate. So we can use the continuous assignment statement to model the gate. Now let's observe the connection between the instantiation module and the top level module. The small a, which is the input of the HA module, is connected to capital A, which is one of the inputs for the top level module. This style of connection is called the name port connection syntax. Now, small b is connected to capital B. S is connected to net W1. And C is connected to net W3. Same as module M2 where A is connected to CI. B is connected to net W1. Small s is connected to output capital S, one of the outputs of the top level module, and C is connected to W2. We can have another style of port connection syntax, which we call the positional port connection syntax. In this style of syntax, the port list of the instantiated module is arranged based on the position of the port in the submodule. In this case, capital A, 
which is the port of the top module, is now connected to the small a, which is the port of the sub module. Capital B is connected to small b. W1 is connected to S. And W3 is connected to C. Now we will look at the tools that we need to use in order to learn this course. We will use the design software, which is the Intel Quartus Prime Lite Edition, which is free for education use. The Quartus Prime is used to model the data circuit using Verilog. We also need the Altera model sim that will be used for verification of the design. To download the software, please scan this QR code. Or go to this link. We will learn how to use this software in the subsequent chapter. The installation instruction can be found here. Chapter 1 ends here. See you in chapter 2. Bye. Thank you for watching.